welcome friends. So today I thought I'd take you along while I make some brodo. Now brodo is a chicken beef stock that is used a lot in the um, Emilia Romana area of Italy. And it is usually the base of tortellini soup, for lack of a better word. Um, it's always on the menu as tortellini in brodo. Um, I learned how to make this in Modena. And in Modena, what we put in, we, like I belong in Italy, um, what it is goes into the tortellinis is ground um, prosciutto, ground mortadella, and Parmesan cheese. So that's all there is to it. And then the stock. So the stock is very simple. I learned this from my Cesarina, um, Rafa. And basically what it is, is it's half a chicken, um, some beef, and then um, some beef bones. And then we're gonna put that in the pot with just a, one carrot, um, celery, and an onion with one clove. Yes, one clove. You don't have to peel any of this because you're gonna end up straining it. I have, however, washed it, and I'm gonna cut the, the carrot and celery into some big chunks. Now this is all going to be strained out, so you don't have to worry about, you know, ugly pieces or anything like that. Um, I do just try to get the dried ends off. You don't want dry flavor in there. We're going to put in all this beef. And like I said, these are beef bones. Um, sorry, I thought I dropped a piece of paper in there. And then this is some, um, some chuck roast. Now sometimes you can find a chuck roast with a bone in it, and that actually is ideal. But of course, when you're looking for it, you can't find it, right? Um, so, and here is our half chicken, which my butcher, the last time I went to Central Market, he cut it in half for me. So I just stuck this one in the freezer and thawed this up the other day. And then the special onion with one clove. One clove. I, I don't understand the one clove, whoops, the one clove. But listen, when your Cesarina says, one clove, Jerry Lynn, you put in one clove. So I'm just gonna put it in like it's an Easter ham. Take off some of this, some of the paper. There we go. And we're gonna put it in here. I'm gonna cover all of that with another like two to three inches of water and cook it for two to three hours. I'm gonna actually go for three hours. I don't season it with salt or anything until right at the very end. And then I'll show you how I strain it and we put the tortellini together. Okay, here we are, many hours later, and I've had this stock going. Now, a little tip for you, if you have a boiling pot, if you put a wooden spoon across the top, it won't bubble over. Because at the beginning, this was almost to the top. It is now about here. Um, and that's what we want to do. We want that water to continue to cook those veggies and the chicken and the beef and the bone and get that marrow out and get all of that flavor. Um, but we're going to strain it now. Okay, so I have a big strainer. If you don't have something like a mesh strainer, um, you could use um, something like a, a colander with maybe some cheesecloth in it. You're just trying to catch the bits. So the big bits, like the hunk of onion and the piece of big piece of chicken and things I can fish out with some tongs and I'll throw those in the in the trash and then I will uh, take this and pour this sieve I do it in the sink or over the sink so in case uh, I splash it goes right in the sink so I'll show you what it looks like as soon as I'm done okay so I have my um, stock now back in my pot I have we, now you can see it's a much smaller pot uh, than it was before. Um, and I'm going to bring this to um, a boil and reduce it a little bit, taste it, and then I'm gonna cool it off and see if I can get some of the fat off of it because um, I don't want my stuff to taste greasy. So that's that. I will show you at the end when I add the tortellini and what that looks like. Um, but that's it for now.